Hello. Now we are going to flush our eMMC storage on our TM4 compute module. So let's do this. Let's follow Jeff Gerling's tutorial browser. And there is information. Before you can set the eMMC storage into USB math storage mode, you have to put a jumper over the first set of pins on the J2 jumper, the jumper lablet fit jumper to disable eMMC boot. Okay, let's do this. So I will try to present how I'm going to do this. Okay, just give me a second and I will present it in a moment. Let's do this. Camera, lovely. We have an action. And what I'm going to use actually is something like this female to female jumper, like a cable actually. And it's a jumper like that. Um, so I will use this and I will put it according to the instruction exactly this way. One goes here to this. And the second goes here. So we need to connect those two, right? Like that. I don't have a special jumper, so I'm going to use it this way. Here we go. Like that. Lovely. Okay. So we have it. Then, next step. Next step is quite simple. You need to plug a USB cable from your computer. In my case, it is a Linux. Into the USB slave micro USB port on the I.O. board. And then plug in uh, the power. Right? So we have to connect this as first. And after that, then we will plug the power. So I'm going to do this. Let's do this, right? And we will see. Here we go. One more second. And we will plug it. Camera action. I feel like a James Cameron. Ah, lovely. Okay, so we need to put this here like that. Excellent. And the second, it's just a USB. So I'm connecting it to my Dell laptop. You can see on the screen. And here we go. So I'm connecting it via the USB port. Lovely. Okay. So the next step is quite simple. We need to connect the power. So I'm using my power adapter going to present in a moment exactly this one and you can see it is here this one so i'm going to connect it to the power source okay lovely so i will turn the camera on like that and we can see that we have a power section over sorry over here that was like that and we need to plug it here ah and now it should flash so we are going to check is it flashing correctly and you can see here it is lovely okay so ah it is correct now what we need to do is to download the Raspberry Pi USB boot repository, install a required USB library on the computer, in my case it's Linux, and then we need to clone the USB boot. Okay, so let's switch to the CLI. First of all, what I'm going to do, I'm connecting to my Dell, just like that. SSH Dell, enter the fast trace. 
And voila. Lovely. So now if I will try to install using sudo apt install libusb and then dash one dot zero dash zero dash dev it should install go here we go do you want to install do you want to continue yes i want lovely and now we need to clone the repository so git clone sorry depth will be equals one and after that https so one slash slash github dot com raspberry p double r raspberry p usb boot learning cloning 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 and then we need to enter the usb boot so cd usb boot directory i will clean and here we go we have files here so first we need to just run a uh, command make just like that and it should do the job if make is not working you need to install make and you will find that you will need gcc or g plus uh, plus package to be able to compile okay so now i should be able to run sudo rpi boot but before i will list it and you can see now i have rpi boot file that wasn't previously listed lovely so sudo and now dot slash rpi boot Here we go and now you can see it's sending boot code bean to our emmc second stage boot server done lovely you can see here we go red and green right so it is okay okay so i will have to record the separate part uh, from my dell laptop and i will have to install obs studio there and to be able to do that because without obs i will not be able to record it and to present you the result on the screen so what i'm going to do actually i will just download the raspberry pi imager to flash raspberry pi os okay that's all thank you